Me and Jordan are cleaning out the flat barn and then I think we're gonna go and work on a tractor. So, should be fun. So basically, what's about to need to happen is we're gonna take the engine hoist from right there. It's in Samurai's, or not Samurai's, uh, tractors are all one thing. We're gonna disconnect it, basically break it in half here and roll the front half away from the back half. And then I think we're gonna take it apart here again too and go through the transmission. But yeah, that's the situation. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, that tire has a quick leak, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of wondering. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't hold it long enough to play. Just thinking maybe no. <laughs> You might just have to wheel it along while holding the air chuck onto it. <laughs> uh. Alright, so if everything goes to plan here, what we're about to do is take blocks like that right there, stack them up underneath this back part here, we're going to connect this hoist right here to the front and wheel the front away from the back end. Yeah? Supposedly. Supposedly. <laughs> if all goes to plan. <laughs> all right. Oh, Nelly. There's now nothing connecting the front half to the back. <laughs> Oh my god. She's loose. <laughs> I was about to reach for it and grab your shoulders and throw you into my fucking... Oh. <laughs> that was... That was not cool. <laughs> Are we connected somewhere right here? Oh, we got a bracket. Yeah. Damn, her tire's going flat. Shit. <laughs> Continuous air pumping. <laughs> Everybody just calm down. <laughs> and now preparing to split the tractor a second time. Hopefully pick this up and move it onto that table. If all goes well. <laughs> That's the plan. But yeah, setting up to do the pole. <laughs> we got this little tiny car jack thingamajig. <laughs> I don't trust this eye. No. It's not welded. It just bent over. Yeah. 
that could straighten out on us. Yeah. Real easy. Yeah. So out to here, we are rated to 500 pounds. We got this chain running over top, bolted back to itself. Then we got another bolt running through this with two hooks for this chain. It's connected on the same, in the same area on the other side. These two chains try and steady this thing to get it onto that table right there once we disconnect it from the back end. Correct? That's the plan. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> Make sure all the pins are tight. Yeah. All right. Word of advice always block up the tires. <laughs> Front and back. <laughs> Before getting too crazy. Okay. Start the clip. <laughs> Last two bolts connecting this to this. Yeah, I forgot that bolt that doesn't come out is acting like a dowel. You're almost free and you're free lifting. Pedal. Yeah. Nope. Pull. Watch that gasket. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> These freaking gaskets are like 150 bucks. Really? Yeah. This is the original gasket. <laughs> Dad's reused it every time. For how long now? Like 40 over, years? Over 30 years. Over 30 years. years? Original gasket. <laughs> Clean title, one owner. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'll pull up all this shit so it doesn't fall. You can only use the thrust washer. Yeah. Give everything a shake test before you get too comfortable. <laughs> Good to go. Probably get our table in here, huh? Well, there it is. Yeah. We are now in three pieces. Especially in three pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I pulled that stuff off and said, damn, it didn't fall off. Yeah, it was just sitting there when we took it apart. Yeah. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> Half your drivetrain is sitting on the pan. Oh, uh, yeah, he's got those sawers up here kind of span these uh, mm -hmm. legs. Let's set this off just onto the floor over here. Steady. Steady. <laughs> oh yeah. Hello. Oh. <laughs> well, we're pretty good. Yeah. Well, actually, it was a good setup. Remember for whenever we do it again to any of the other tractors. Or when we put it back together. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, I guess I'm gonna go on another cow herding spree. Oh. <laughs> 
five power shaft. The shaft goes solidly from the engine all the way for the PTL. Oh, is that the thingamabob? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, so not, that's why it's not can, there no more. That's why you can run the PTO on a tractor with an, when the transmission's in neutral. Oh, yeah. Like some like old older tractors, the tractor had to be in gear. Like you had to be moving in order for the PTO to work. So you couldn't just park it and like run like a pump or something. Like it was only good for like running like a mower or a rake. Yeah, like, like a once you pushed it in the clutch, rake. the PTO would stop. That so old Massey, put it up on blocks. That old Massey Ferguson that Kenny had. Yeah. His was like that. I used it to do hay a couple times and yeah, every time you push in the clutch. And boom, kill the PTO. <laughs> that's so weird. So yeah, that's the... Long shaft. Yeah. First of many things that need to come out. <laughs> we should have one back here. This is the one out of the 8600. A little bit beefier. Yeah, and the teeth got partially stripped off of it. Mm -hmm. Right on either end, yeah. and so the PTO started to chatter. So we replaced it. <sighs> Always good to pass around information while making the videos. <laughs> Pulling out more stuff. Mm -hmm. These two guys got to kind of come out together. These are the shift collars. This one allows you to shift between gears. Yeah. Boom, boom. Yeah, the, this uh, transmission the main gears, you know, we use as sixth yeah. in reverse. You have a sixth straight ahead, and obviously reverse straight back. So this shift rail right here, mm -hmm. it's used more than any of the other ones. And the shift rail will, will break periodically where these detents are. Mm -hmm. And then it just jams up and you can't shift at all. And normally to replace this shift rail, since it does break more frequently than the other ones, you'd have to split it drive out this plug right here in order to get that out. What we did a couple years ago is we took and we ground out the casting right up here. <laughs> and so now to replace this rail, all you do is pull the top cover, take out that little set screw right there, and you can actually slide the rail all the way forward and pull it out. <laughs> and then drop a new one in without splitting the tractor. Nice. So instead of having to take all this nonsense off, you just gotta take out these couple of bolts on the top. That might be useful to show to some people in the video. Be like, just, yeah, just we ground that out. Like that, grind it out yourself. Yeah, we 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 ground it out with everything still in here, and then just bathed it all in oil mm -hmm. to wash all the metal filings down several times. Drained it out. That's useful info right there. If you got a four to five thousand, <laughs> that might be part of our problem. That's an oh moment. I have no idea where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you just pick it up from? It was laying right across the drain hole. It was too big to fit out. <laughs> it's obviously broke off of something. Uh, oh, yeah. That's that's too rough to be some sort of machine, and it's rough right there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Quick update. <sighs> All right, we'll be back shortly with more. <laughs> So, what are we looking for here? So the the reverse gear, yeah, the uh, one we're trying to get to, mm -hmm. it's um, it's all the way in the bottom. <laughs> so, so everything, all this shit, which is perfectly fine, has to come out <laughs> to get. I don't know if you can see that, but it's that, it's that small gear it's literally like sandwiched between this and that bigger gear. Way down there. All the way in the bottom. Literally everything has to come out to get to it. All right. <laughs> God damn it. 
and we'll be back with more updates. <laughs> <laughs>